Hey Scorpio, what's up? So we're gonna be looking into what you're not expecting this month. This month being November. This reading is general. However, I do hope that it resonates for you all. If you would like a personal reading, all that information will be in the box below. Um, and if you are not already subscribed, it would mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button. If you have already been subscribed, I appreciate you, honey. Let's get right into it. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands in Reverse, and the Fool card. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords in Reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Judgment card in Reverse. And then we have the Sun card, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, and the Five of Wands. Okay, so we have Leo, we have Sagittarius, and we have Aquarius, okay? So I feel like as of recently, Scorpio, you decided to take a risk um, and start putting your energy, your money, um, your whatever it may be into something. Um, and I feel like you kind of have this mindset where you're like, there's no time for fun like we have to take this serious we're going to take this serious because i'm putting all that i have into the situation sort of thing um what's this four of wands in reverse okay we have the knight of cups so you may have felt like you had to um not engage with certain people who may be romantically or intimately interested in you in order to just focus your energy to take a risk um, some of you, I'm, I'm hearing celibacy, so some of you could be moving into the energy of celibacy, um, taking a risk and really working on yourself to obtain the results that you want, whether it be marriage, whether it just be like, um, some type of, um, commitment that you want, that you, that you're hoping for, that you haven't been able to, um, receive within like how you were moving before. But ultimately, I feel like you just kind of deprived yourself from fun. It's all about discipline. It's all about putting in this effort. It's all about taking risks, making things happen right now, okay? Um, what's the Five of Pentacles with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords? I feel like you all have very high hopes for this. We have the Magician, so now we have... Um, Aries Gemini um yeah I feel like you guys all have a very like 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 positive um mindset about this like I feel like you feel like this is gonna work I feel like you guys feel like you know it's gonna take some time some discipline and there's gonna be things again that you're going to have to sacrifice or not engage with um some of you may be putting like because okay so some of you may be putting a lot of the money that you have into what you're doing or some of you just may be saving your money in order to do what you're trying to do but either way i feel like there's um some budgeting on money there's some um like discipline when it comes to spending money happening Okay, give me some clarity on this judgment card in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords in reverse, please. What is this about? What is this Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the nine of wands. So Scorpio, I feel like, um, I feel like this situation, whatever this is you're putting your energy into, it's going to take some time to expand. And while that may, may be very disencouraging, I feel like it's happening because, um, they're giving me the example of like a jar spell. Okay. So let me use that as an example. Sometimes I have to do this just so I can get the energy out. Right. So like with a candle spell, you do a candle spell, it works really fast, but it doesn't last as long. You do a jar spell and it may take some time to build up to what you're trying to manifest, but when it does, it's gonna keep going. And the energy in that jar can just keep flowing and flowing and flowing and being used and being generated, right? 
So I feel like it may not happen. It may not pop off as fast as you want, Scorpio, whatever this is. Like you may not be receiving um, money or just like a lot of um, what you put in back into it right away. But I feel like it's because it has to expand and it has to build. It has to go from this, like this being the start to this. So it's going to take some time. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's just important just to keep going, keep going, um, keep persevering, like don't give up, it will happen, um, but I just feel like it won't happen, like, as fast as maybe you're expecting it to, so what is the sun card? Okay, we got the Queen of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Cups in reversed? We got the Ten of Cups in reversed. Interesting. We got the Nine of Swords in reversed. Okay, so I feel like some of you may be depriving yourself a little bit too much. Like you may be isolating yourself a little bit too much, taking this a little bit too serious. I feel like it is a good thing that you guys are taking this serious, like as far as what you're investing your energy and your money into and just taking yourself serious. Um, but I feel like there is still going to be a need for some type of emotional uh, capacity in your life, whether it be friends, whether it be dating, whether it be like, I feel like you need emotional support and just emotional interaction and able to like feel fuel you in this process because i feel like right now the situation is making you very happy because you're doing something that you know you've been wanting to do that you maybe some of you feel like you need to do or just that you're happy about like it's something new it's something that's for you it's something that you're doing for yourself and that's making you happy but i feel like as you continue to go through it um and especially because there's not like a instant reward from it i feel like there's going to be a need to find fuel find like um the motivation to keep going um to keep your feels like in balance you're going to need some type of interaction so it's important to stay focused get what you want i feel like you will get what you want but i feel like if you don't allow yourself to be open to emotional interaction you're not going to be completely fulfilled with within um there still needs to be some type of emotional capacity to life that you have going on um while you go through this process as well so yes i do hope that this reading was helpful if you would like a personal reading it'll be in the box below and i'll talk to y'all later bye